Proper installation is essential to ensure the highest possible performance and provide maximum life for conduit applications. With the exceptions of a few precautions necessary to protect the coatings, Plastibond Red Hot Coated Rigid Metal Conduit Installation Procedures are the same as those for installing non-coated conduit. Installing Plastibond Red Hot involves five basic steps. Clamping, cutting, threading, bending, and assembly. Clamping. A number of practical ways are recommended for clamping Plastibond Red Hot. If a power drive unit that spins the conduit is used, the chuck should be equipped with inserts designed specifically for PVC coated conduit. These inserts are available through a local threading equipment distributor. When using a pipe vise, it is recommended that the jaw assembly be replaced with Plastibond Jaws 3 vise adapters. These adapters spread the clamping force over a larger area, which helps prevent spinning of the pipe during cutting and threading operations. If JAWS 3 adapters are not used, wrap the area of the conduit to be clamped with emery cloth coarse side down. This will increase the friction created by the vice jaws and help prevent spinning of the pipe, thereby reducing potential damage to the coating. Plastibond half-shell clamps are available to protect a large surface area when conduit is clamped, especially in a chain vise. The aluminum nickel bronze clamps allow for a strong grip without damaging the exterior coating of the coated conduit. Half-shell clamps are available in sizes 2 through 6 inches. Cutting Plastibond recommends using a roller cutter to cut coated conduit. In addition to producing a square cut end, the roller cutter will remove approximately one quarter inch of the PVC coating, aiding in conduit threading. Use a reamer to remove any rough edges caused by the cutting operation. This ensures that the wire pulled through the conduit will not be damaged. Conventional manual or power saws may be used to cut conduit. Threading. Plastibond Red Hot Conduit can be threaded with any standard threading tool. Larger model power threaders with open die heads require no modification beyond optional grip inserts for PVC coated conduit. If a threader with a tight fitting die head is to be used like many handheld models, it is necessary to machine out the interior diameter of the stationary guide approximately 12 one hundredths of an inch to allow for clearance of the PVC coating. Prior to machining the pipe guide, take note of the sequence in which the dies are removed. After machining, replace the dies in the proper sequence. Also, if conduit is to be threaded manually, it must be pencil cut before threading can occur. This will enable the die teeth on the threader to engage the conduit. In the same manner as sharpening a pencil with a knife, cut away one quarter inch of the exterior coating. Before threading, a series of cuts should be made in the PVC coating along the longitudinal axis of the conduit. The thread protector attached to one end of the conduit can be used to gauge the length of the cuts. Make a slit up one side of the thread protector with a knife and remove it from the conduit. Push the thread protector over the cut end of the conduit to be threaded and place a mark on the PVC coating at the end of the protector. With a knife, cut around the circumference of the conduit at the mark, through the PVC coating, to the metal. This cut will indicate the starting point for the longitudinal cuts and it will give an even ending to the PVC coating removed during threading. The longitudinal cuts will allow the PVC coating to be removed in small pieces instead of long strips that can foul the die head, causing the conduit to collapse. Please note when threading Plastibond aluminum conduit, always use new die heads. Never use the same die head to thread coated aluminum conduit and coated steel conduit. Use a good quality thread cutting oil to flush away the metal and PVC chips. After threading, Use a degreasing spray to thoroughly clean the threads and the interior of the pipe. Use care not to contaminate the cutting oil with a degreasing spray. As a safety precaution, never clean the pipe 
while it is still spinning in the power drive. Degreasing is important in order to ensure that the thread compound will adhere to the unprotected steel. Bare steel, resulting from field cut threads, is the most vulnerable area to corrosion in any conduit system. Therefore, thread compound must be used on all field cut threads and internal rings. Proper use of the thread compound will ensure a reliably sealed installation. Thread compound has been developed as a protection for bare metal and is available in pint cans. Bending. Plastibond offers a complete line of standard, special, and large radius elbows, ready for quick shipment. When field bending is necessary, there are a variety of bending tools from which to choose. Plastibond coated conduit can be bent with conventional bending equipment. To accommodate the PVC coating when using a hand bender, always select the next larger size shoe. Use a plastibond hickey to reduce the possibility of damage to the conduit coating when making sharp bends, saddles, or offsets. For optimum results, use equipment specially designed for bending coated conduit. Hydraulic and electric benders are available with shoes sized for plastibond coated conduit. When bending plastibond coated conduit with powered equipment, Use rubbing alcohol to clean the inside of the shoe and the area of the conduit to be bent. Never use a lubricant on the shoe or conduit. Lubricants tend to allow the conduit to slip above the center line of the shoe, resulting in flattening of the elbow. Major manufacturers of bending equipment offer replacement shoes for coated conduit that can be ordered for existing equipment. Acceptable results can be obtained by machining out existing shoes. Use shoes the same size as the conduit to be bent and remove approximately six one hundredths of an inch from the inside of the shoe. Assembly Plastibond Red Hot engineers, working in conjunction with prominent manufacturers, have developed special tools to aid in installation of Plastibond coated conduit systems. Plastibond touch-up compound is used to repair nicks, cuts, and abrasions to the outer surface of Plastibond coated conduit. Apply the exterior touch-up compound liberally over damaged areas. Because this material will not adhere to bare metal, it is advisable to overlap existing PVC coating. Sometimes it may be necessary to apply several coats in order to obtain adequate coverage. Allow the first coat to dry completely before applying additional coats. Another application for Plastibond exterior touch-up compound is for use as a sealant at access fitting openings. In wet locations, apply thread compound to factory threads, assemble, then brush touch-up compound over the sleeve joints. Plastibond exterior touch-up compound is available in pints with a brush tip applicator. It is also available in a 13-ounce aerosol can when cosmetic coverage is desired. Plastibond Z-wrenches are designed to replace standard adjustable pliers. Z-wrenches feature extra-wide jaws which spread the clamping force, enabling the tools to grip securely without marring the surface of the conduit. The V-shaped upper jaw allows the wrench to accommodate a wide range of conduit sizes. Shallow grooves in the upper and lower jaws provide an excellent grip. Z-wrenches are available in two sizes to fit one-half through two and one-half inch conduit. With a Plastibond spinet, conduit can be tightened much faster than with a conventional tool, and the spinet never touches the coating. Labor and time are saved because no touch-up is necessary for marks from wrenches or pliers. Spinets are available in popular conduit sizes 3 quarters through 2 inches. Use a 1 half inch drive impact or ratchet wrench for 3 quarter inch and 1 inch conduit and a 3 quarter inch drive impact or ratchet wrench for sizes 1 and 1 quarter through 2 inches. Plastibond has designed a special PVC hickey to reduce the possibility of damage during conduit bending. It is available to handle one-half and three-quarter inch conduit. 
Jaws 3 is a set of three aluminum nickel bronze vice jaws designed to replace the regular jaws in a pipe vise. Jaws 3 protects plastibon coated conduit from damage during cutting and threading. These replacement jaws spread the clamping force over a much larger area, greatly reducing the possibility of the pipe spinning in the vise during cutting and threading operations. One set of Jaws 3 handles one half through one and one half inch conduit. When ordering Jaws 3, be sure to specify the vise model you are using. Use the Plastibon plastic socket and standard 3 8 inch ratchet to speed up U-bolt and beam clamp installation. The plastic socket prevents abrasion and cracking of encapsulated nuts, which may be caused by pliers or wrenches, and it assures a tight seal between the nut and the saddle. The 3 8 inch plasti socket fits nuts for 1 half inch through 2 inch clamps. The 5 8 inch plasti socket fits nuts for 2 and 1 half inch and larger sizes. Both plasti sockets fit a standard 3 8 inch drive ratchet wrench. Buy Plastibond Red Hot Rigid Metal Coated Conduit and Fittings. Install them with proper tools, follow proven procedures, and expect a superior, long-lasting corrosion resistant system that pays for itself with lower maintenance costs and reduced downtime. With Plastibond, you can install it and forget it.